Hi, Sterling Baird from the Acceleration Consortium here. Large language models tend to hallucinate. Context 7 is a tool that helps you get up-to-date documentation for large language models and AI code editors. This was recommended to me by Kevin Jablanca last week. Let's start looking for a Bayesian optimization package uh, by Meta called Axe. And here we can see we have this tokenized set of instructions that's uh, much more friendly for large language models. We have a copy button. We can also include the direct link. Here we're searching for a particular topic within that and getting kind of a refined uh, down selected version of this. Uh, there are different configurations that you can do, but the main thing here that I'd like to point out is uh, as an extension within Visual Studio Code. So here if we search for context seven, uh, we have this MCP server, Model Context Protocol server, and I'll show you how this works. Uh, so if we scroll down from GitHub Copilot chat, we'll see that we have these two tools now available. Uh, and I'll ask it, look up AxDocs using hashtag context7. And so it's going to go through and choose those tools. Uh, this is in an agent mode with GitHub Copilot chat. And first it's running resolve library ID and then get library docs. So the in the first case, it's double checking to see which resource it's supposed to be looking at. And uh, it successfully finds the ax uh, docs, kind of recognizes that. Uh, and then second, it goes through and pulls the actual uh, documentation um, from there. And here we have, in this case, just a basic description of, of the platform and, and an example there. So let's update this. Let's say, uh, you know, I, I haven't quite migrated to Axe 1.0 yet. I'm still using 0.5.0 for a number of things. Uh, it turned out that it was really easy to get this added. I already added it here, uh, but you can click new version and search for a tag in the library and it'll run, spin up the process. And this is all happening in a, in a public setting. So you're essentially, you request this once and anybody in the world can use those, uh, those docs, uh, kind of an updated version there. So here we have the 0.5.0 docs. I could copy it directly. I could include the link and tell an LLM to, uh, to pull it. But here I'll just say, look up the docs for 0.5.0. Uh, All right, so this one actually just jumps straight to get library docs, uh, maybe from the prior context, just realizing, okay, it's the same platform and we're looking for 0.5.0 from that. And then here we get a documentation that is specific to the 0.5.0 version. Uh, So going back here, we can look up another package, uh, Workflow Orchestrator I'll often use, it's called Prefect. Uh, we can see that that's here. There are many different packages and it also is very easy to add new packages uh, to this by request. So either as a, if it's a GitHub repository, super easy. If it's a web page, uh, it can also scrape from that as well. And this is a really cool worldwide kind of public facing resource to keep large language models and AI code editors from generating no nonsense. Uh, this tool comes from Upstash uh, and uh, I'm still exploring it. It's worked pretty well for me so far. Have a try.